What's going on everybody, come back. I'm working on a tool roll to go in the truck. Um, for any time I might have to do repairs. I've never had anything like this in my truck. So come back and we'll talk about what all I've got in it, what's going in it. Might need some help here. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I uh, hope this video is finding you well. So I got this tool roll. I got the, just the roll itself off of the jungle site. I'll leave all the links down below for everything that's in it already. And um, show you what I've got in it so far. I've still got a couple things I've got, I've got to put in it. Got a couple things I'm looking for to put in it. Try to figure out what I want to do. I want to keep it simplified to do simple repairs if I need be, but I'm not going to try to rebuild the Titan in the middle of the woods. Just try to get home. Anyways, let's get over here on the workbench and we'll take a look at what I've got in it so far. Three, two, one. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. I like how it folds up and wraps up. Um, it's a canvas type bag. This will go in the cab of the truck. This will not be in the bed. I'll keep it in the cab where I can get to it fairly easy. But it just unrolls like that. Now I've added some stuff in it already. I've got things I need to put in it. I've got to grab, I've got a uh, one of the multi screwdrivers that's going to go in it. I've got to put some zip ties in it uh, because you just can't live without zip ties or duct tape. So I've got to find a thing of duct tape to put in it too. Right now I do have a little electrical tape. Um, this is not the roll I want to keep in it. I'm going to find a regular roll. Um, but that's all. It's in that top pocket. It's a thin, it's not as bulky of a pocket as this is, or as these are. So I'm going to keep like the zip ties, the duct tape, the electrical tape in this upper pocket. Maybe some wiring connectors, assortment of kind of wiring connectors because you never know you just never know so the first pocket right up top you're gonna find and like i said i, I don't know how well this is gonna work it may not work for me you're gonna see some sockets and some strange sockets if you've never seen these this is crescent brand it's their style of sockets it's metrics whoops slid right out of there it's a metric socket set. This side is. It goes from 10 to a 19. Then in this pocket, I have SAE, which goes to from 3 8 to 7 8 I'd look to make sure. In this, also, it came with the set, you have a couple of these with a uh, bit that you can put those on. I rarely ever use those. Let me get you a little closer as you can see it. I rarely ever use this in a ratchet. May need it at some point, but I may have something else to put in here that will work. Now, they do offer, this comes with it too. And the way this works, you slide this in from the other side, like so. And that allows you to put normal sockets on it. Now this is a 10 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away because, you know, it should be lost by now, but it's not. But it is a 10 millimeter. That's a Craftsman socket. Most of my hand tools in the house are either Craftsman Snap-on. I may have a few other little brands. But anyway, that's the 10 millimeter out of my Craftsman. I stuck it in the wrong hole. But you just push this back out. And this one was fit and tight for some reason. I don't know why. Doesn't look any different than the socket, other sockets. But that's how your sockets go on. And like I said, this set may not work for me. I may need something a little different. That just locks into place. And you see there's a hole through there. Well, you don't have to have extensions with this. So like I said, this set may not work out for me. We'll see. I have noticed that it's really difficult to get the darn my hands to get the sockets out. No, that didn't work that time. There it goes. Um, 
but you know it's a in case I need it situation um, so what I'm thinking about is either adding a a couple of crescent wrenches although we know how crescent wrenches can be you have to be careful with them you'll screw up a bolt but like I said if this is a uh, have to hurry up or try to get the thing going again to get out of the wherever you're at then be it um, maybe a couple of vice grips we'll see then in this pocket we have some pliers we have a slip joint we have two slip joints you have regular angle head and then you have these guys right here a pair of dykes stop laughing a pair of, like, just really uh, a pair of dykes and a pair of needle nose pliers um, like I said if you have to you know whatever you may run into you might have to fix something on the road or you know in the wild or whatever and then down here I have a set or a pair of basic strippers and crimpers um, this is a fair like I said a really basic pair I have a better pair that I used to use back in the day show you back in the day this was my go-to stuff when I did car audio and uh, car alarms and stuff like that that was my go-to back in the day so I got that to throw off in the bag like I said I'm gonna put an assortment of crimpers or uh, wire connectors and that kind of stuff that way if I I need it may even put a little thing of wire um, you know sometimes you break a wire on something if you have just a little short piece that you can butt together then you could get it back on the road get something back on the road or get something back working but anyway like I said I still have some decisions to make I still have some things to put in the thing but this is going to go inside the cab of the truck and this will be used to you know for whatever I may need it for down the road um if if the truck breaks down too bad it sucker is going to sit there till i get a tow truck back here or get towed out to the main road or something but anyway i want to show you that as something i'm putting together i want to get it done over the next few days go ahead and get it in the truck so i've got it with me at all times but uh, help me out with some advice on the tool roll uh, if you're wondering let me find the tape measure real quick we'll measure the length of the pockets and everything uh, let's see wife's been stealing some of my stuff here lately so your pockets are going to be roughly 10 and a half inches across I would say say 10 all the way across um, but like I said I got some little things I want to put in there um, I wouldn't put anything like this in there this is my good one I would not put that in there I would just get a regular old uh, tire pressure gauge to throw off in there. I don't know. Um, maybe even get a regular size hammer of some kind and just lay it across it. And that way when I roll it up, the hammer is rolled up into the pack. That way I've got a hammer of some kind. Um, so your suggestions may end up in the tool roll. Let me know and uh, we'll get it together like i said it looks like it'll hold a lot more i can't get that strap going tighter uh, but it is what it is so we'll go with it for now all right guys that's it for this one i appreciate you watching be prepared see ya on the next one